Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Games. Ben, where are you? Oh, hi Ben. Can I play too? I'm not playing. I'm training. It looks like playing to me. Well, it's not. I'm getting ready for the elf games. That sounds fun. Can I play some elf games? The elf games are not fun. They're very serious. Now, I need to practice my lifting. Ugh, this acorn's really heavy. Ugh. I can do that. Abracadabra. Easy peasy. <laughs> you used magic. We don't have magic at the elf games. Oh. So what do you have? We have jumping. Poopla! I can do that. Poopla! <laughs> we don't have flying either. The games are not for fairies, just for elves. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. <coughs> we have serious things like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow! If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! Run, Ben! Ah! I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What 
did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. No one would notice. Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. What is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, uh, well, the rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks, get set, go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Hooray! Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? And I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me. What was that? Dancing, gymnastics and looking pretty. Very good. At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. Yay!
Maybe Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, ho. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Cows. This way for the elf farm tour. Now, children, who can tell me where carrots come from? Carrots come from the elf farm. Yes, Nanny Plum. Does any child know where carrots come from? Um, the elf farm? Very good. Hard hats on, please, and step this way. Now, what animal gives us eggs? A sheep. No, Strawberry, not a sheep. A chicken. Yes, Jake, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, the elf farm gives us all the food we need. What about milk? Milk comes from very big animals. Elephants? No, not elephants. Milk comes from cows, but we don't have any cows on the elf farm. So where do cows live? On the big farm. Can we go to the big farm? I want to see some cows. No, no, no. The big farm is far too dangerous for elves and fairies to visit. Really, wise old elf. You are making a fuss. And what would a fairy know about animals? Fairies love animals, don't we, girls? Mm. Especially fluffy little kittens. Ah. Hmm. The big farm is full of big animals and big people with big feet. I've been to the big farm and it was fine. Who wants to go? <laughs> Righty ho! Come along, children. Hooray! Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, today we'll be going to the big farm to learn about cows. <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if the ladybird should come with us. Please, wise old elf. Oh, very well. As long as he behaves himself. <coughs> <laughs> Gaston likes you. Mm, charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we are, the big farm. Watch out for the cattle grids. What? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, remember everyone, big people have very big feet and you never know where they're going to step. With luck, we won't meet any big people. But if we do, please keep calm. No panicking. Wise old elf, is that one of the big people? Eh? Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> and we're fairies. Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. <laughs> These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm 
big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. <laughs> These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> 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 What did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said, Bat. But what does Bat mean? Bat means Bat. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <coughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> It's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. It's okay, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <laughs> and there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh, Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Cows sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, yes, yes. What a superb example of a female bovine quadruped. I just felt a teeny drop of rain. These are the cow's udders. Yes. I definitely felt some rain. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh! <gasps> oh dear! It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Oh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Oh! Oh! Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <laughs> Now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh! That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh! Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. But what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh, no. It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look. It's not magic. It's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. Gaston's a sheep ladybird. Clever Gaston! Thanks for all your help. Here, take some milk with you. Oh, how kind. Oh. Hooray for Lucy! And hooray 
for the little fairies. And elves. Hooray! We need to the big farm, the big farm, the big farm. We need to the big farm to see some. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf band. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us, and I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry. But Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh. King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. <laughs> So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> the elf band at your service, Your Majesty. Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa! Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly, but I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. <laughs> what a charming little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music, and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. <laughs> Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instrument.
instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 oompa. Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better. Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered teaching music? Ah, well, uh... Let's dance! Come on, 
Mummy, the King and Queen Marigold are not boring at all. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Yes, please. Um, why have you brought an orange? It's to scare off gnomes. You know what they say. To scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, you don't want to bring a gnome on a camping trip. They talk and talk and talk and talk. Yes, gnomes are just like elves. Absolutely not. Gnomes are greedy, boring creatures who talk and talk and talk and Goodness, talk and... Goodness, look at the time. We really should be going. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Bye, Nanny. Goodbye. Have fun. Watch out for those gnomes. Don't worry. We've got our orange. Here's the timetable. One, set up camp. Two, hang up washing. Three, make a campfire. Four... Dad, we're on holiday. Try to relax, Mr Elf. I'll do my best, Mrs Elf. Here we are. Yippity doo da! <laughs> will there be any dancing? Can we sing songs? There will be no dancing or singing, just camping. Here's the tent. Shall I magic the tent up for us, Mr. Elf? Holly, I'd rather you didn't do any magicking. Remember, this is an elf camp. Elves have been camping for hundreds of years. We can put tents up with our eyes closed. Wow! One elf tent. Hooray! Lovely. Now we're on holiday. Yes, and that means there's holiday work to be done. Holiday work? Next on the list, hang out the washing. But we've only just arrived. Why do you need to hang out the washing? A campsite can never be too clean and tidy. I'll slice the orange. Mrs Elf, how do oranges keep gnomes away? It's the smell. Gnomes hate the smell of oranges. Oh. There. Now we're safe. Next on the list, collect sticks for the campfire. Here are some sticks. Here are some more. OK, that's enough sticks. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> Hello there. A gnome. <coughs> Mind if I join you? Uh, well... Thank you. I'll only stay for a week or two. Oh, no. But we had an orange. Yes. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the smell of this orange. But gnomes hate oranges. Normally, yes. But I'm on a balanced diet, you see. If I eat ten pies and twenty steam puddings, I need to balance that by eating fruit. <sighs> Let's make a fire. How do you make a fire, Mr Elf? Rub two sticks together really fast, like this. <sighs> you have to rub the sticks a little bit faster. Would you like to hear the interesting thing I know about sticks? <sighs> sticks grow on trees. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. I'm nice and warm now. That's because fire is hot. <laughs> <sighs> I'm hungry. Me too. What a surprise. I've hardly eaten anything today. I've only had ten pies, a skip full of chips, 30 apple tarts... Wow! That's a lot! ..a sponge cake, 100 sausages and that orange. I thought you said you were on a diet. Oh, I am. There are some things I don't eat, like stones, wood and television sets. But nobody eats those things. What? You're on this diet too? Oh, I never knew it was so popular. What's for dinner, Mrs Elf? Cheese and onion pie. Ooh, thank you very much, Lee. 
That's tasty. Yes, it's crummy. Oh, very good. What's that? It's an owl. It's got very big eyes. Would you like me to tell you an amazing fact? About owls? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. The owl is in fact a bird. It has big eyes for seeing things. <laughs> Six o'clock. Time for bed. Oh. I'll put the fire out. Can't you leave it to keep the owl warm? It's dangerous to leave a fire going, Princess Holly. <laughs> That's right. Don't go to bed till the fire is out. And don't go to bed with a carrot on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Then, Holly, you get in the tent and go to sleep. Mr Gnome, you have to go home. But we're having fun. Elf camping is not meant to be fun. Bedtime is at six o'clock, not the middle of the night. Oh, I know a song about the middle of the night. Would you like to hear it? No! I'll take that as a yes. In the middle of the night, the stars twinkle bright. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo, dibbly-dibbly-dee. <laughs> All together now. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo. Time for bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr Gnome, but now we need to get some sleep. Oh, yes. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo, dibbly-dibbly-dee. Rinky-dinky-doo. Oh, stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. Oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo, shoo. Go away, mole. <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf. What gets rid of moles? Hello. Yes, moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. That's why I've brought the magic picnic basket. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I'm actually very hungry. Oh, have you not eaten either? Not today. Oh, dear, it's empty. <laughs> it isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. Magic basket, please. Breakfast for everyone! Hooray! I get the idea. Magic basket, please. Twenty poached eggs. Lots of toast. Nine jars of jam. Forty sausages and ninety pancakes. Yippee! What a splendid breakfast! Thank 
Thank you, Mr. Gnome. Breakfast is one of the things gnomes know a lot about. <laughs> mm, yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, I almost forgot my balanced diet. I shouldn't be eating all this without also eating an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Betty Caterpillar. <laughs> well, to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby Bee. Mean yes. Um, let's play racing. Fastest across the meadow is the winner. Can we fly? No flying and no magic. Okay. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. <laughs> Look, Betty Caterpillar is sad. I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly. <laughs> wow, it worked. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her. I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! Ah! Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Whoa! Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, 
Right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? <laughs> You'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes. But when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. She's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. She looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, 
I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <coughs> Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Betty Butterfly. <laughs> 